with our hearts even bigger than our feet. <laughs> you serious? Oh, it's recording. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, As you can probably see, I'm looking for every single reason to do anything else other than watch this new trailer, but the show must go on. There's an old saying in show business, the show must go wrong. <laughs> we must press forward through the pillaging, disgusting, putrid filled stench. I don't want to. Anyway, Amazon put out a new trailer. We're going to watch it. Don't need much more of an introduction than that. Okay. It inspires no confidence. It gives me no help, no hope or pause that the show is going to be anything than what we know it to be, which is just going to be a woke, piece of shit, political, preachy, narcissistic putrefication of Tolkien's work. So Tolkien at this point is spinning so fast in his grave that I'm sure we could hook a generator up to his corpse and power the entire planet. And also, if I seem like I'm more tired or more apathetic now than I have been in any of my other videos, know that it's my w will to live slowly leaving my body. So, again, let's just get into it, shall we? Get it over with. Rip it off like a band-aid. I am watching the trailer right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it now. Why do they put that at the beginning? That's so dumb. Just show the friggin' trailer. Why are you... Anyway. My brother gave his life hunting the enemy. So it's confirmed that this isn't Celeborn now. We know that this is one of Galadriel's brothers. She had three brothers. The most famous one being Finrod, who had a huge part to play in the first age in the fight against Morgoth. And her two other brothers, Aeg Aegnor and Aengrod. Um... They all died in the first age, okay? Except for Finrod, who was eventually brought back to life during the first age in Valinor. So, if she's talking about Finrod, then his death took place in the first age against Morgoth during the Siege of Angband, okay? So, I don't know who she's talking about. I don't know which brother this is. Whatever, all three of them fought in the Battle of Angband. She didn't, by the way. Galadriel didn't fight in that battle, so take with that what you will, people that think uh, Galadriel was a warrior, a female warrior badass. But I'm pretty sure it's still confirmed that her husband, Celeborn, is dead, which, you know, just creates a myriad of problems for the entire legendarium of Tolkienism. So, either way, they're connecting their story to stuff that they don't even have the rights to anyway. All they have is the appendices, so them making conne huge connections to the first age is just making no sense i have no idea how they even have the ability to do that his task is now mine ah did you see that did you see that for a second right there they have shown that that is the mark of sauron throughout the show like the little ice stuff <laughs> yeah water you know whatever in the last trailer scene that they showed so that's the lark of sauron so if they're implying that her brothers died by the hand of sauron they're 100 percent incorrect okay that is not correct. They died at the hands of Morgoth, all right? Sauron was maybe a lieutenant at the time, but it was like 455 in the First Age, so Sauron probably wasn't even super prominent yet. So, right there, that just shows me that they're implying that Sauron killed one of her brothers, and that just didn't happen. That's just factually inaccurate. Makes no sense already, so that's dumb. Oh, you know, look, pretty ships. Mm. Stand with me. I don't want to stand with you because you're factually inaccurate and you're uh, destroying everything that Tolkien ever made. Also, you look friggin' weird. Look at this armor. <laughs> Doesn't suit her at all. Also, what the hell is this music? Like, what the freak? It sounds like something Billie Eilish wrote or something. What the heck are you putting in your trailer? What the hell? Oh, I know why. It's because they're friggin' trying to trying to show it to the younger generation again another soldier that doesn't have an who, whose helmet is too big for him what's up with this wardrobe oh yeah galadriel also being in numenor never happened never ever 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 happened she was never in numenor all right this is elendil apparently and elendil being alive before the rings were even forged makes no sense here's the major problem with the show already is that they're taking 
every significant event that happened in the Second Age and compacting it all into happening maybe five or six years that that this series is going to take place along which makes no sense because there were so many battles so much intrigue so much political so much crazy things happening that took time and that fermented throughout history to create the whole legendarium of tolkien so them cramming it all into one season or two seasons or five seasons it just completely breaks the lore. Like, Elendil was born 1,500 years after the Rings of Power were made. And this is season one, and we're not even going to see the Rings of Power. So, that makes no sense at all. Okay. Them thinking that they can just pick and choose different things and cram them all in together. It, it makes no sense to the Legendarium. It's disrespectful to the timeline. And they're doing all of the payoff with none of the setup. Alright? Not a great plan. All of the major things that happen at the end of the Second Age are all results of the insane amount of events that happened before it. And the whole climax of the Second Age happens at the pinnacle of Sauron creating the rings and for and going to war against the world. Farazhan going to Valinor and Numenor being sunk. The Battle of the Last Alliance. All of that stuff happens at the end of the Second Age. And they're doing all of the payoff none of the setup okay it's horrible writing horrible no destiny look a dwarf that looks like a dwarf no way that's a lot for this show considering none of the elves look like elves <laughs> ours was the work of something greater what did she say let me go back and listen to what she said so she's going nuts about her meeting Halbrand, who is apparently Sauron. So, like, are they going to make a love story between her and Sauron? They're putting a ton of emphasis on her meeting Halbrand, and I don't know why. Like, what is this relationship? Why is there so much emphasis on this relationship between Galadriel and a person that... And Halbrand, who's apparently Sauron. And if he's not Sauron, somebody that they just made up. So, like, what is up with them putting so much emphasis on this relationship? There are so much more important things that happened in the Second Age, okay? None of which had Galadriel in them, so... Oh, look, it's so pretty. We're running through the glass, and it's so pretty. I'll give him that. This looks gorgeous. Looks like New Zealand, but... And apparently, this is a woman. <laughs> what? What the... <clears throat> uh, mark my words. It's gonna be a trans woman or something. It's gonna be some LGBTQ type of representation to be the Dark Lord or whatever. And what's up with Disney and uh, these major corporations bringing in lgbtq representation and then making them the bad guys like what does that say <laughs> okay yeah apparently this is a woman doesn't sound like a woman doesn't look like a woman i don't know what these people are weird priestess things i don't know i don't know what they're trying to do again what is up with this music like what happened to the score that you guys are just so gay for right now half of the promotional material i've seen on instagram and on facebook and on twitter has been the score is amazing half of the stuff that they're just gawking at is that the score is amazing and now they're not even showcasing it here they're doing some weird pop billy eilish depressing weird music for some reason i don't know what the deal is <laughs> Okay, a uh, guy that fell from the sky, he's now with the Hobbit and a bunch of wargs, maybe? Warg-like creatures attacking him? I have no idea what that's about. If it's an Astari, it makes no sense to the lore. And if it's Sauron, it also makes no sense to the lore. <laughs> you guys are probably getting tired of me rehashing the same stuff, but they keep rehashing the same stuff, so it's justified. Gilgalad, the only elf in the show that actually looks like an elf. Everyone must decide who... Okay, yeah, friggin' apparently Queen Muriel is already Queen Regent of Numenor, which makes no sense because she never even became Queen. Farazhan took the throne from her immediately before she could even take the throne, so that makes no sense. Mark my words, there's not gonna be a single female in this show that is flawed in any way. Girls get it done. The only bad guys in the show are going to be the males. They're just going to prop up all of their female characters and denigrate all of the male ones, you know? That's what's happening in Hulk, She-Hulk right now. They're just, it's the exact same thing that they're doing here. Uh, every single female is the absolute pinnacle of perfection, but every single male is just sucks in every single way. Even the ones that are good, they still suck in some way. Here's Farazhan, not eight feet tall. Yeah, he's eight feet tall, by the way, in the books. 
but not here, I guess. Must decide who. Apparently, this is a seal door, which, by the way, uh, he's... <laughs> He's an entirely different race from his father. Okay, this is a Sealdor, and this is Elendil. Elendil is white, and Sealdor is not white. I don't know what he is, but he's not white. So what? The to the writers are ridiculous. They're like, oh, we're gonna we want to bring diversity in, even though it makes zero sense. Last time I checked, <laughs> if both your parents are white you're white okay if both your parents are black you're black okay it's all tokenism you know just shoving in as many diverse people as possible even though it makes no sense to any of the characters that they even themselves set up we shall be oh Aaron dear the only elf besides galadriel that'll be that'll be useful the entire show they're gonna make gil galad completely useless the characters that we made up that are completely original are going to be the ones that have all the bearing on the things that happen into the show not the people that actually existed in tolkien's work good job writers you're idiots idiots doing idiot things because they're idiots i'm not the hero you seek i'm not the hero you seek who does she think he is like why is she relying so heavily on this guy again they're making this giant making the relationship the most important thing like wh wh what's so insane about this relationship there was so much insane so much more insane things that happened in the second age like the most important thing in this show is galadriel and her relationship to halbrand a character that doesn't actually exist you're shooting yourselves in the foot amazon and when i say you're shooting yourselves in the foot i mean you're blasting your feet off <laughs> you're taking an ak-47 and you're just like gunning your feet down okay <laughs> this will be your kingdom <laughs> you guys notice that this actress whatever her name is is doing the most promoting for the show and yet i'm pretty sure she's barely in it interesting and of course durin he doesn't know how to rule huh, so his wife is gonna rule for him huh, because all the men in the show are incompetent huh. <laughs> Choose not the path of fear, but that of faith. Faith, huh? Faith in what? Faith in your shitty writers? Damn! <laughs> uh, don't put your faith in them, because they'll screw you over. Wow, look, Galadriel actually looks like a female here. <laughs> they didn't just uh, chuck her up to look like some random guard anymore. Look at that, she's actually wearing a dress. That's crazy. One thing stuff. we can do, better than any creature in all Middle Earth, we stay true to each other. Are the Harfoots saying that? We stay true to each other? That's so bland. That's so bland. Like, this doesn't even resemble Tolkien's work at all. Like, their writing, like, their dialogue is just cringe. We represent our truth to each other. Gosh, did you guys even read the books? Man. Get Tom Shippey back on board and he'll show you how to write a script. With our hearts even bigger in our feet. Did he literally just say that? Our hearts are even bigger than our feet. <sighs> wow, the death of Tolkien dialogue. Do you remember this dialogue? Do you remember this? Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. I have not passed so far in death to bandy crooked words with a witless worm. There's something strange at work here. Some evil gives speed to these creatures. Sets its will against us. Fell deeds awake. Now for wrath, now for ruin, and the red god. It was all handpicked from parts in Tolkien's actual work. Hearts bigger than our feet? Holy crap, that's bad. I'm like blown away that that is actual dialogue in this show. We can survive this. You and I. Oh yeah, and obviously there's gonna be evil, oppressive white white elves that are super racist against the black elf, and that's why they can't get together, and it's gonna be a whole thing. Wait, no, we keep moving. Oh, so Galadriel, she's gonna just let her men die. Wonderful leadership there, Galadriel. You inspire so much hope in your men. <laughs> if one of you falls down and dies, we're just gonna leave you behind. Yeah, great leadership skills there, Galadriel. You're so powerful. Why do you keep fighting? Of course, every single dude is mansplaining to her. Don't fight anymore. Don't do it. Don't fight. You can't. You're a woman. This is just gonna be more She-Hulk bullcrap. Why do you keep fighting? 
because uh, I'm a woman and I'm powerful and I don't need no man. Every single guy is going to be trying to tear her down this entire show, mark my words. And she don't need no man. She's going to fight everyone. Of course. It's just horrible. It's going to be garbage. The only way we can make Galadriel good is by making all of the men around her hate her and are trying to tear her down. She's going to break that glass ceiling, baby. There is a tempest in me. <laughs> There's a tempest in me. Death of Tolkien's writing. The guy was a poet, and you guys are not poets at all. <laughs> Don't give up your day job. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. See, just more Elrond being like, oh, don't fight anymore, even though Elrond fought in a billion more battles than Galadriel ever did. If Elrond and Galadriel ever went toe-to-toe -to -toe in, like, sword play, El Elrond would win every single time. He's been in so many battles. Galadriel never even picked up a sword. Give me a break. <laughs> the freak is he fighting at? Like, what, is he gonna break this weird tent? Again... The action looks horrible. Looks like everybody's just on a wire. It's wonderful. What the heck is this? Who the freak is this meteor guy? Like, is he just bah, making all this power? Oh, man, it's ridiculous. This is making me. This is making my soul cringe. Oh my gosh! Did you see how many times she just flourished her sword? Like eight times in one move, because that's such a useful thing to do in a battle, is to flourish your sword like a madman. Seriously, look at that. Watch, 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 watch. That was like ten flourishes it, in one second. Be? Without it, what am I to be? Oh, I don't know. Something that Tolkien wrote? You know, anything similar to anything that Tolkien wrote at all? Maybe you could be that. Just a suggestion. Yep, and just more garbage. More garbage. Horrible, cringe-worthy garbage. Don't believe me? Check this out. The trailer's been out for about five hours, and it's already been downvoted. <laughs> it's happening even faster than we could have ever predicted. People are mashing on those dislike buttons because they don't want anything to do with your show. Take a hint, Amazon. I've said that before, but freaking take a hint. Holy cow, you guys are gonna run into a brick wall. Just stop, please. <laughs> Well, my friends, this uh, trailer again shows that they are propping up their own original characters and uh, they're putting all of this woke stuff into it, making it look like Galadriel has been bullied by men her entire life, doing a whole Captain Marvel thing again. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be woke. You guys have heard me say this a thousand times. It's just going to be more woke ball crap. And it's not going to have anything that resembles anything Tolkien wrote. And what's so disingenuous is the fact that the writers continue to push back on people saying that they're vaguely connected to Tolkien in articles and all of that. They keep saying, we feel deeply rooted in Tolkien's work. Well, that's so completely hypocritical what, to what you're showing. All right. You feel deeply rooted in Tolkien's work. And yet none of the things that you do in this show resemble Tolkien at all. The only things that you're focusing on are characters that you originally created. You're not actually going to focus on anything, any of the actual canonical characters, except for Galadriel, who doesn't even make any sense because she barely played even a role in the Second Age at all. So the fact that you think that you're connected to Tolkien is completely disingenuous. You're not connected to him, okay? You've made up your own story that you wanted to tell and you've slapped Tolkien's name on it because you know it'll attract a bunch of people, okay? And I feel bad for the actors and the actresses because they would probably make really great... They would probably do insanely well in a, in a Lord of the Rings TV show that was actually written by competent people that cared about Tolkien's work. So no, guys, you're not deeply connected, deeply rooted in Tolkien's work. You're disrespecting everything that he wrote. And you're not even focusing on the things that he did right, okay? You're not even focusing on the things that were important in the Second Age. You're only focusing on your own woke, narcissistic bullcrap that you feel so empowered with writing. You're giving yourself so much credit that you created these characters and that the women are going to break glass ceilings and that the men are all horrible and corrupt politicians and blah, blah. You're just preaching a bunch of stuff that's already been done. Every single show is doing this right now and you guys aren't any different.
Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. All right, you're nothing like Tolkien ever wrote, and I, I know that this show is just going to fade into obscurity. All right, which is probably worse than being deliberately hated. Nobody's going to talk about this show in five, six years. These these movies have been around for twenty years now. These books have been around for seventy years now. And they're still talked about and renowned. And Amazon, Rings of Power, you're not going to be on that shelf. You're not going to find a place on my shelf. You're not going to find a place on my wall. Just like every single other person that cares about Tolkien stuff. You're going to fade into nothing. Because you basically decided that you were so incredible that you climbed to these new heights and never even looked down and saw that you were on top of the shoulders of giants this entire time and are disrespecting them all the way through. You don't deserve the praise that you think you deserve. You don't deserve any of the camaraderie or the notoriety or the incredible recognition of fantasy that Tolkien himself wrote. You don't deserve any of that because you disrespect the author who basically gave you something to stand on. And it's horrible. I hate it all, okay? You guys are the worst, and I can't wait to see this thing plummet into nothing. Rings of Power hasn't even come out yet, and it's not a show that I will talk about that I will want my kids to watch one day. It's going to become obsolete and is going to slowly die as you all question why it's happening. And the reason it's happening is because you're just disrespecting the people that came before you. And none of us are buying it. Anyway, bye-bye. You are physically repulsive, intellectually retarded, vulgar, insensitive, selfish, stupid. You have no taste, a lousy sense of humor, and you smell.